Waktu pertama kali ku lihat dirimu hadir Rasa hati ini ingin tanding evening to all. My name is Tariq and I will be your MC for today. Welcome and thank you for joining us today for our webinar about bringing out the musician in you. This session is going to be a 45-minute webinar with a presentation and student performances. Before we begin, I would like to explain about the meeting etiquette. First of all, join the meeting. I can see that you are, have already done, already done that, right? Okay, secondly, we would appreciate if you could mute your microphone. Uh, we hope this will be, uh, give you a better webinar experience. Thirdly, please pay attention to the presenter. Next, should you have any questions, please type them in the chat box and our speaker will address them at the end of the presentation. Lastly, when you are called, you may unmute yourself and start talking. We would like to thank each and every one of you for following and observing the meeting etiquette. We are very excited to introduce our speaker today, Mr. Woon Se Ting. Woon Se Ting graduated from Yong Suto Conservatory, Singapore. He is currently the head music program for University College Fairview and Fairview International School and co-principal horn for Philharmonic Winds of Malaysia. Woon Se Ting began playing horns in the year 2000 when he joined the wind ensemble of Chung Ling High School, Penang. He studied first with Sabina Pei, principal French horn of the Malaysian Philharmonic, and subsequently with Zolz Peter and Hang Chang Cho principal French horn of the Singapore Symphony Orchestra. Prior to this appointment in Fairview, Sitting is the member of the Malaysian Symphony Orchestra. He was a founding member of the Malaysian Philharmonic Youth Orchestra, and he frequently performed with the Orchestra of the Music Makers, Singapore and the Singapore Festival Orchestra. Without further ado, it's my honor to present to you our speaker, Woon Se Ting. Um, thank you, Mr. Tarek, um, and, and welcome everybody. It's my honor to uh, share with you some of the my musical experience and how can we bring up the music in you. Uh, so first of all, uh, Fairview started this once a music program five years ago. So I believe is um, this is a great. I really believe on this is is a fantastic idea because I believe everybody is a musician. So. Um, this webinar is about bringing out the musician in you and how do you achieve this. So music, music has always been your passion and long to pursue music and I will share with you some of the tips in building a, music in, a career in music as well. So over here, I've identified some of the tips uh, in, in building your career and in music. First of all, is planning for success. As a musician myself, we are very creative people, but most of the time we are unable to execute the planning of our ideas. Therefore, planning for success is very, very important. And I believe that it's um, so important that we also have uh, this in place in many of our course, and we, sh we showcase this in our, our lesson as well. So in our music lesson in Fairview International School and the Foundation in Music, we not just teach students about uh, musical skill, we also teach them how to plan, which is very, very important. Apart from planning, having the correct attitude and mindset, which is a state of mind where a lot of musicians, musicians struggle with, even myself, something we have to refer back even as an adult. So again, your attitude determines your attitude. Okay, last but not least, we shall be covering about professionalism and profession performance of musicians in order to have a sustainable career. So again, it's fantastic that all of you have passion in music, but again, is it sustainable? So over here, I will share with you some of the ways to have a career in music. Okay, so let's start. 
So when we talk about planning for success in music, this comprises of many things. First of all, is we must set a meaningful target on what to achieve and which is very complicated. There are many things to consider when setting a target, timeline, resources, and also knowing your niche well, which is knowing what you are very good at. First thing first, be specific. Having a talent is great, but every musician needs to focus on their message and what they want to express. Making music is not so much about skill, it's also about feeling and expression. Therefore, when setting your goal, it's important to be specific and carry out your message. For example, when planning for a competition or choosing a piece to perform, it's very important to understand your strengths, weaknesses, and understand clearly how you can deliver that message out clearly to your audience. So the audience be connected to you. I often uh, went to a lot of concerts and I, in my opinion, I felt that um, what set a, a great concert than a normal concert is that whether the performer connect to you. Um, you know, uh, uh, and when, you're in pro when you're a professional musician, you know, they, you play flawlessly, you know, but then if you don't really connect to the audience, if your message is not really clear, it doesn't mean anything. So when you prepare for your, your, it doesn't have to be singing, whether you are preparing for your, your piece, you know, uh, really know very uh, clearly uh, what you are trying to express. Is it about um, uh, intensity or is it about um, uh, calmness, you know, or, or whatever, very specific mood that you want to deliver. Make sure you deliver that very clearly. Okay, next, I will like to talk about resources. Now, the resources over here, I mean, is what you need to success and how. For example, when playing for a concert, it's not merely about performing it with great artistry. You need to make sure that there are sufficient audience will come to support and finance your concert. And this point is a uh, lack, uh, I find that in, in the industry, a lot of you, a lot of our musicians, we, we spend most of our time uh, perform, perform, perform and uh, practice, practice. Uh, it's maybe okay for the for last time, but now the world has been changing. You know, um, uh, perf uh, you know, by playing beautifully and uh, really, um, uh, you know, uh, with flawless technique, it's it's not going to be very successful. You need to also, um, you know, you know, call, attend network event, open mic, music conference, or go everywhere else to make creative of business connection. Now, for example, um, you know, I want to do a, a solo recital, you know, uh, next month, you know, you have to um, go to, uh, you know, uh, talk to your local dealers, uh, a music shop, you know, collaborate with them, you know, so, um, you know, yeah, it, it's not, you know, you have to connect to the, to the, to the audience and to the community, very, very important. Network with new music producer, find fellow musicians to collaborate with, connect with a business manager, in order to support your musical activity, okay? After that, it's also very important to get valuable experience, whether it's assistant, college intern, apprentice, or any other entry-level position. Find it and take it to gain experience working in the music business. So as a student, I think we shouldn't think so much about money first because um, you can always earn money later on, but experience you really need to be good and really know what you are doing so use this time to take as much experience think of the money later on okay this will help you define what you are good at and also help build your resume and industry connection which is very important building a relevant skill in another industry also can be very useful for example you could be working in you know some admin job you know so later on when you when you graduate you know those admin experience will help yourself you know last but not least believe in yourself always remember why you want to be an artist and stay motivated it can be very rough business but what's worse than not pursuing your passion and giving up your dreams because of fear i um I, I'm, I, I spoke with a lot of students, uh, you know, prospective students who want to join Foundation Music. I still remember one of the students, they, um, they, you know, the parents spoken to me that they, they worry that the child um, can't find a, a job, you know, by studying in music. I told, I told the parent that, you know, it's very important that you, 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 the, you know, the, to let the child to, 
to pursue what they want, you know, it, because that's the passion. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's their whole life. So you, it's not very important that, you know, you really uh, do what you like, okay, and dream big. Now, next, I will talk about attitude and mindset. When we talk about attitude and mindset, it's very important to have positivity. Now, positive comes from doing things or having experience that give rise to positive emotion. It's at the heart of positive psychology, the study that makes us happy and do what we do to foster fulfilling lives. In other words, success flow from happiness. Okay, why? Because when you're actively engaged in pursuing what you love, you are more motivated and inspired to do whatever it takes to create that success. Next, I shall show you what is flow mindset. Any musician out there ever experience a state of mind where you perform the time to stop with such deep concentration, okay, and you, you achieve your fullest potential, this is called flow mindset, which is an experience of intense focus where joy your skill meets the challenge at your hand and you lose track of, tri of time. Okay, with confidence, you can control the experience. Okay, now the bigger question is how can we achieve the state of flow mindset? Okay, so I'll share with you, uh, which is very important. First of all, your skill need to be well matched to the task. In other words, you must really practice really hard and there's no miracle. Okay, making sure you focus on your technique, solving all technical dif difficulties before your show or performance. Okay, so uh, you really practice slowly, really, um, you know, identify, um, you know, the, 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 the problem, you know, solve that and then practice again, you know. A miracle won't happen if you cannot do it in your practice soon, then you will not be able to do it in the performance. Now, a lot of us also forgot to stretch our limit, okay. By stretching your skill can lead to a state of flow. What do I mean about that? For example, if um, I, I saw a lot of my brass students here, so I always I encourage my student to, uh, you know, to play higher, you know, higher, 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 louder, 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 longer, everything, you know. So it's very important that we, uh, you know, push, uh, you know, keep pushing, pushing and pushing and stretch your skill. Very, very important. Whether if you are violent, violinist, you know, um, you know, uh, play something, you know, very, um, uh, you know, try to push your limit. A slight stretching of a skill or attempting to something that's a little more advanced than your current ability can also foster a flow state. In other words, find time to explore something beyond ability slightly. Don't always stay in your comfort zone. So my vocal student, I always encourage them to, um, you know, um, don't just um, stick, stick with one genre, you know, try out many, many genre, you know, you know it all helps, you know, you, okay? One of the harm of successful musicians is how resilient they are, even when things they do don't go to, don't go their way. Okay, for example, you look at the picture. This uh this uh Simpson over here, his hair is on fire. I I went to um uh talk in in America a few years back, uh by Paula Kreider. He he uh, she really inspired me on how to really um uh, you know teach with fire, which is very important. So. I think uh, as a musician, you all have to really, really, um, uh, um, really have this passion in you. So when you face problem, instead of like, oh, I cannot play high, you know, use that, use the growth mindset, you know, you know, instead of, so think, how can I make it better? If this is, uh, you cannot play it this way, so this is your room for improvement. So do not use fixed mindset. Okay. So reach out to your mentor or your friends for guidance and new suggestion and learn to work smarter, not harder. So uh, after that, you also need to avoid interruption, okay, in order to achieve um, a flow mindset. It's very important that before the show, you really concentrate and prepare and um, how you begin your first note. Um, every musician is different. I, uh, I know musician, uh, um, some musician, they, they prefer to, um, you know, to, they do something that different, complete different uh, than what they're going to, so for, uh, they're, they're going to perform. I saw musicians who want to um, uh, play chess, you know. I also know some musicians, they are so focused, they don't want, they want to talk to anybody. They want to just stay in, in the bubble. So I, um, personally, I, myself, I, I'm on the, on, on the other spectrum. I, 
I like to stay in my bubble before my show. I really, really concentrate really, really fully. And I, I, uh, you know, I really find the time to really um, uh, uh, find the awareness of my body, how, how, to really, how do I start the uh, first phrase. So it is very impactful to also do good warm up and calm your body down before at the actual show. Okay, where, where you can see some of our performer here. Uh, they are really warming up just now. Okay, so one of the hallmarks of successful music is Okay, so next Next, I shall show you some of the traits of professionalism and performance uh, We all should demonstrate. So I want to show you these two pictures. Now the picture on the left is uh, an orchestra rehearsal session Okay, this is uh, before the rehearsal I've been to a lot of um, you know a lot of professional orchestra engagement. So um, what I noticed the differences between a student orchestra and an amateur and the really professional orchestra. Yes, they are being paid, but then um, you know um, 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 it's the attitude actually the professionalism. You know um, in you know in a very serious uh, um, uh, uh, orchestra rehearsal, they all go to rehearse um, uh, uh, orchestra rehearsal like. I don't know. Thirty minutes before, they are on stage already. They are preparing how to, uh, you know, uh, they are so focused. You know, they start same as like how what we what I mentioned just now about flow mindset. So this is uh, how we are. So the next picture I would like to sh share is also very important to be really prepared. Prepare for your job. So before the rain, prepare the umbrella. Ultimately, the big difference between a professional and everyone else is preparation. Okay, this is same as any any other field. A professional salesman is expected to know his product. A professional marketer is expected to know her target audience. Likewise, a professional musician is expected to show up gig with the right instrument, dress appropriately, prepare to nail the music. So let me repeat again. A professional musician dress appropriately, whatever the gig. Okay, make sure you know what to wear. Flip flop are probably a bad idea, okay. So the second trait is also follow direction well, okay. Uh, it's very simple follow direction, but it's not as simple, you know, because most musicians they make a living playing music for other people. They have to be good at doing what they want. This sound very vague. It is whether you are hired to play in a wedding ceremony, perform as a sideman, be a studio musician, a pit musician, or Broadway. You have to be good at taking direction. Even the one who giving direction is not um, uh, not better than you. Okay, those and more often than not, those directions are probably communicated by people who don't know music. Okay, while a professional musician know how to translate any kind of instruction quickly without getting frustrated and make the client happy. Again, it's very important. The client is everything. Other times. You're getting quick direction from music director that knows exactly what she wants. Your ability to adapt quickly is key. These are one way of communication where there's other no time to ask question. Okay, again, something very different than um uh, uh you know in in uh as a musician, uh paid musician is to um do not ask so much question. You have to really listen to and know the hierarchy. Okay, performing well in this type of scenario will get you recommendation. Ultimately, more work and again more money. So, another another professional trait is also be organized. In a nutshell, keep a calendar and learn how to tell time. There's nothing more frustrating or embarrassing than tardiness. In the world of great music players scraping together, you know, fifty ringgit to 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 for a show schedule are usually both busy and erratic. Everyone is trying to squeeze in rehearsal just before teaching lesson, then get a gig later at that night. But if you can't keep track of everything, be very, you know, you can't keep track, then you will lose the work, plain and simple. So again, be really, really organized. Additionally, you probably need to keep track of large amount of materials. Many, many musicians, they play in multiple bands. You know, uh, whether it's uh, original music by songwriter, that our cover song for wedding, or even corporate gig, throwing all this music in your head get easier with practice. But in the begin, in the beginning, you will need to learn how to organize it. Okay, a successful and very busy freelance guitarist wrote an article, learning music quickly and efficiently. 
There's a saying among musicians that goes something like this. An amateur practice until he get it right, or professional practice until he never get it wrong. So over here, I would like to share with you a uh, ATL model. Now ATL is uh, something very practiced widely in all the IB school. It's called approaches to learning. Okay, and in Fairview, we use smart goal learning. This model helps us to better map out in order for to achieve better. Okay, smart stand for specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, time bound. Okay, so. Um, for specific, your goal have to be you have to know what you're going after. If your goal is to be a successful musician, what does it mean? You know, um, be a, a loss of money in the bank or a steady job, a teaching job. So really, really specific what you want. Right? Uh, uh, what you know, what is your goal? So you know, after that, you also need to make sure your goal is measurable. Okay, whether it's how much money in your bank. Um, you know, I want to teach in the, you know, uh, what, what, which school, which school, this kind of thing, okay? Or if you are, if you are composer, uh, new creation, what type of activity, maybe new genre of music, you know, it's up to you to provide the magic, but you have achieved, make, make sure you know what to do, okay? Secondly, A, it's very important to make sure your goal is attainable. This question tests whether you believe you can reach your goal or not. If you believe your heart and your heart can make your dream happen, that goal, that will go a long way, okay? After that, it's also very important to make sure, is it realistic, okay? And how does this goal will ha uh, help your life? So refer to this very, very closely. If it's not realistic, then change your goal again. Secondly, it's very important to have, to know when exactly you will achieve all this, okay? So go without a time period and many just wish. And uh, I, I've been told by many people, I uh, you know make sure you really set a timeline where do you when do you need to achieve this okay so uh over here in the foundation in music um uh, we have we have uh, a, a conducive learning environment all these costs are interrelated and we we it all support each and other okay for example in the major study class you 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 learn from your your teacher uh, you know, after that, you practice that in the concert practice, okay? So in the music and context class, you will use, um, you know, uh, the music and context, uh, the history, you have to start uh, analyze all this, you know. Then in the, in the theory of harmony class, you will learn about, you know, you know all the, how to construct um, the, uh, the architecture of this. Also in the musician's class, is uh, you know, we, the teacher will train you how to hear properly. So uh, it's like, it's all, all interrelated so with very good system we will help you uh, 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 become a better musician okay so over here we also have uh, in 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 the foundation in music in under the domains umbrella we provide platform for performance for student over here you can see um, it's not for only the professional our student from the young until the until the oldest they all have opportunity to perform in dominus and we try to make this uh, a very all-rounded venue. It's not just for classical, for pop as well. And under the dominant umbrella, we have lots of visiting artists. So uh, uh, we all work very collaboratively. Now, when we talk about hardware, we also have very important uh, 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 a team. So over here, we are very, very proud that we have uh, Dr. Sarah Bushner, our advisor, and Poom Pramachat, from um uh, Steinway artists, which is from uh they both of them have very very high a uh, high profile in the in the music scene, you know alongside with uh, uh, our team as well um uh, 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 you know they all of this all of us have come from different different experience you know for example we have uh Tariq who is also not just a fantastic teacher he's also a very uh very skillful in the technology side, uh, Mr Kibun himself yeah uh, have you know forty years of um. Uh, performing arts uh, uh, managing uh, experience also a fantastic pianist so uh, Scarlett uh, um, uh, study in the States we all work together it's not um, uh, to give the best um, experience for you all so this is an example of our world class facility the four year over here is also a, a performing uh, 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 venue as well 
So uh, it has fantastic acoustic and uh, it's equipped also with the um, uh, piano as well. And our grand hall is specially designed for uh, music performances. Um, the panels, every, uh, the, uh, we have also LED screen, which is very high resolution. And uh, it's also uh, equipped with the best recording uh, facility, really world class. Now the gem, and uh, we believe that um, Steinway & Son is the, our chosen brand of piano, uh, which is very important for the training of uh, musicians. Not only that it produces a, a fantastic sound, but it's very important for the student to train on the Steinway piano because uh, it, it is used widely in many, many schools. So uh, Resetto Studio is also another uh, very, very um, uh, good venue for not only for concert, but also for filming, for dance, as you can see, all uh, we have uh, is specially designed with uh, acoustic panel and also. So, um, what makes us special? Okay, is also our connection with Dominus. Dominus is much more than a world class facility. Our team work closely with faculty and students give them the best real world experience, such as recording, as you can see in this picture here. Lang Jian is, uh, yeah, we. You know, it's very, very, um, how to say, um, um, rare opportunity that students get to, uh, you know, uh, um, involved in recording, you know. Uh, uh, we are talking about really world-class recording. You know, normally, uh, when, during my time when I study, I have to pay like, you know, uh, 300 sing dollar for an hour only, you know. Over here, students are being exposed, you know, uh, if, even our younger students as well. And, and you can see on the picture over here, this is an Arab piano. So uh, not only we have a uh, Steinway piano, Arab piano is a historical piano, which is also the uh, choice of piano during Chopin's time. Uh, so this is it's very important for our students to train on the on this historical instrument to understand the style of Steinway. And we're getting more historical piano as well. Okay. So, so what are your career route as a music? Uh, if you study music, there are, there are there are many many options. You can be a musician, a producer. A music therapist is something very new in Malaysia. It's very popular in other uh, in the states and everywhere. Music teacher, obviously, secondary school teacher, uh, sound designer, sound engineer, sound technician, broadcasting, film management, music business, and many many more. So, um, the you know is. It's very, very wide range. You can also be un in the management. There's many, many arts management, you know. Last but not least, parents is very, very important in, in making the success in the, in, for your child. Um, I, uh, my, my uh, you know, your child is, uh, it's very important that your child have the skill, uh, support with fantastic teacher. But then if either, if one of the parents is not supportive or really, uh, it, it, it's not going to make it. So all of us are very, very important. So thank you again uh, for su support, supporting your music in your child's life. Hmm. So, all right. So um, music provides opportunity to expand the mind, problem solve and express emotion and learn about interaction with others. So, um, Okay, so uh, I would like to open the floor for some question. Anybody have question? So you can um, unmute yourself and um, yeah. Uh, anybody have question? Or you can type in the chat room or call WPTA Thailand, Mr. Pum Pramachat, to, um, to grace us with uh, his uh, welcome speech. Thank you very much, Mr. Hoon Setting, and good evening to everybody. It has been such a wonderful webinar, which I'm very sure that for all of us as a young musician, we have learned so much from you and everything what you have suggested is very important value for musicians around the world. I would like to say that I am very privileged to be part of Fairview University College. And I know that we are very special because we are giving our love to everybody. And we have the vision that music is for everybody and everybody can be a great musician 
under our guidance. So I really would like to thank you so much for the University College of Fairview for giving me this opportunity to be able to teach in Malaysia. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you. Really, we are so glad to have you here to inspire our students, and we look forward for more, um, more creation, more. Uh, yeah, okay. So, um, so, um, so again, uh, the foundation in music is still open for enrollment. So do connect to us, okay, by email inquiry at dominus edu, www.dominus.my. We also have uh, classes, uh, music classes to learn from our faculty. We have a very strong faculty. Um, so if you are interested with our program, do visit our website, Dominus Arts Venue, or email the number here, or contact the number here. So uh, thank you again for coming. On behalf of uh, UCF and Dominus, I'm very, very honored to host, um, to talk with you all. And I look forward to see you guys on the next webinar. Thank you again. Thank you, Mr. Boon. But before everyone logs off, could I just request that you uh, switch on your camera so we can just take a group photo? Is that possible? Come, Mr. Boon, if you could um, stop the screen share. Oh. oh, please don't leave yet. Yes, just, just switch your cameras. Oh, we also have Mr. Paul Kennedy here, who is assistant principal in Fairview International School Kuala Lumpur. Welcome, Mr. Paul. Come, let us all switch on the camera. Let's have a, a, a group photo together. Hi, Megan. Mr. Tom, Angie, Akari, Hans, V2029, Sarakshi. Come on, come switch on the camera, please. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, we'll just take one shot from this screen first. One, two, cha Great. Okay. Uh, let me just stay somewhere first. Okay. Let's go to the second screen. <laughs> right. Looking good, everyone. Okay. Uh, we have a few here. Carson, are you able to share your screen? Yamada, we have been entertained by your emoticons just now. Thank you. Yes. Angie, JYL, don't mind, just to Sean, Mr. Tom, Alexi. Let's see you. Yes. Ready. Three, two, one, your biggest smile. Lovely. Thank you. All right. So, back to you, Mr. Wood. Thank you. So, so thank you again, and uh, uh, look forward to see you all. So, uh, I just saw uh, Kelvin uh, uh, mentioned something about the piano. And yes, we are. We will welcome uh, uh, student. Uh, we will try to allow student to play on this time. And we also bought new piano. Um, the and even more, even more coming. So um, we look forward uh, for face-to-face -face lesson. Indeed, indeed, yes. Okay. okay. So thank you, everyone. So we will uh, bid farewell and good night for now. Hope to see you in our next series of webinar events. Take care and stay safe. Have a great weekend.